area we are saving. Please remember the following one. You need to know why you are saving. You need to know why you are saving. Very many people save without knowing why they are saving. Of course, they are better than those who never save. But if you want to move in a focused way, you need to know why you are saving. When you know why, it will even help you dictate how much you should be saving per season for you to achieve your goal. Are we together? So know why you are saving. And different people save for different reasons. There's someone who is saving to invest specifically, like the guy who is opening the grocery sh shop that I've mentioned. He's specific. There's another person who is saving for a rainy day. He's creating what we call an emergency kitty. That in the event, God forbid, another COVID-19 happens, at least he has something. In the event, God forbid, he lost his job. Because those are realities of, of our lives today. Yesterday, but one, I released a video on my social media channels and I was saying there is no longer permanency in jobs. No long ago, we used to talk about permanent and pensionable. And that thing had meaning. Wale mulikuwa hizo siku, si munajua ilikuwa na meaning. Ulikuwa ukipata kazi, ukiitua permanent and pensionable, ata unakaa chini. Unajua hapa niko permanent. That's where the concept ya nani ya mekalia kiti ilitokea. Kwa sababu ukikalia yu kiti ume, umekalia. But today, hata ukiitua permanent and pensionable, it's a flowery title. There's no job security these days. Sometimes I say you can't have both a job and security in one place. You either have a job or you have security. <laughs> but you can't have job security at the same time. So God forbid you have lost your job, then if you are creating an emergency kit, you have somewhere to touch as you reorganize yourself. There are those who save for that. There are other people who save to buy what I call a big ticket item. There are those items in our lives that cost a lot of money. Your salary may be enough to buy them, lakini ukitumia salary yako kuzinunua, ekonomi yako itakuwa shaken. Vitu kama TV, fridge, you know those things, eh? Eh, they cost quite a bit of money. So there's someone who chooses to save to buy that item. Sometimes I tell men, if we are in a year of uh, World Cup, I don't know why World Cup reminds us that our te television sets are now small. But there are some men wakati mwaka ya World Cup in Africa. Like the previous World Cup we had, I think it was, it was starting in, was it October or November? So there's a man who suddenly knows kutakuwa na World Cup huu mwaka, lakini ya kaka TV kangu kameanza kukua dot. Nushaya na TV mekua dot. Bas. Now, assume we have two men who have discovered that their TV has become a dot. So they need to upgrade. Sindio? Now, mwaka ndi unaanza January. They will need a TV in November. Saizi wakona TV. Lakini mekua dot. Two men can do two different things. There is one man after conceiving the idea of growing their size, the size of their TV who will not be patient and decides Badala kungoja November si mimi nitafute tu TV yangu saa hii. Ako na TV leo lakini kusababu yu idea imekuja eh, haizi hold. But this man does not have money for the TV. So he will choose to go and borrow money now in January. Anunue tu yu TV kubwa mape? Mapema. Yeah, lipia to interest. At that time, we are not thinking about interest that we are paying. We are thinking about the TV. Sawa? The end. There is another man who says, Kwa sababu sasa ni kona TV ambayo inanitosheleza, I will need to expand in November. Let me estimate how much I will need. And let me start saving. Then November ikifika, Sintakuwa ni megadha pesa ya kununua TV yangu, Nitanunua bila pressure, Ya madeni. Choices. Tulisa mele box one ya choices. Sindio? Choices. So know why you are saving. Number two. We are giving tips about saving. If you choose to save, please save before you spend. 
Serve before you spend. Because money refuses to remain to be saved after spending. In nature to your pesa. Long time ago I used to say mshahara ikiingia wacha nitumie tumie tu lakini ile itakuwa na baki nitakuwa na save. Si nilingoje. Sijui kama yenu huwa inabaki. <laughs> yenu huwa inabaki. Ati inangoja ukuja we save. And that's why I started by saying we don't save money because we have excess. We save because we are choosing to and we know why where it will take us. So save before. Number three. You need to remember to be consistent. Consistent. Usikuwe mtu wa kusave hii mwezi, alafu next month eh unaruka hata ulisahau. Unakumbuka hata baada ya miezi zingine mbili, ah nilikuwa nina save kumbe. And that's why I started by saying know why you are saving. If you know why and that why is a strong why, it will give you more energy to be more focused. It will even dictate how much you need to be putting aside every season. You also need to be consistent in terms of amount and frequency. Unajua hapo kwa amount ndio kashetani huwa kanakuja. Eh kitu kanakuambia unajua hii mwezi mambo imeshikana. Eh wacha tu niruke hii mwezi alafu next month nitaweka mara ngapi? Mbili. <laughs> Well, I think the enemy does not like things that will lead us into prosperity. So please, ukisikia hizo voices za ku ku skip leo uweke double next time. If you must do anything double, bas fanya leo double alafu skip next time. Sawa sawa. Number four. You must be disciplined. You must be disciplined shida ni kwamba hakuna duka ya kununua discipline discipline is nurtured you know discipline is one of those words we use carelessly we cannot even define them by the way if i asked what discipline is tutaanza ku google tulianza kuambiwa maneno ya discipline tukiwa wadogo kwa shule tukaambiwa is being in the right place at the right time doing the right thing and then right 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 isn't it but from a personal development perspective I like def- defining discipline as your ability to suppress diversionary desires so that you can focus you can pursue a bigger and better goal your ability to suppress diversionary desires in order to pursue and achieve a bigger and better goal Na maanisha hivi kwa hii maisha every time you focus on something big something good kutakuwa na tu sauti twingine tunakuja kukuconvince boss mbona una save kununua tv november wewe si pesa unaweza kula tu hii weekend usikie vizuri leo you know those voices eh hey, you only live once umesikia tu sauti si ndio very deceiving voices every time you focus on a bigger and better thing there will always be temptation to veer off track so that you can do other things for instant gratification uski utamu tu leo but the truth is that thing you are pursuing uki hit itakupea utamu kubwa kuliko hii utamu ya le ya leo but there is a balance now between nisikie tu utamu leo ama ningoje utamu siku siku ile that's where discipline comes in please learn to say no where no is due In the world of money you cannot be saying yes to everything. You will burn your fingers. Especially as a man. Learn to say no where no is due. And by the way when you say this no, say it unapologetically. Don't labor a lot explaining to people. At I did not drive to this meeting kwa sababu unajua eh hey, gari yangu sijui ilifanyika nini. Oh unajua hata sijui hii barabara. Wewe unajua ni mafuta haukukuwa nayo. Please don't wachana na sisi. Are we together? When your friends call you and tell you eh, boss tuko huku kwenu. You know sometimes we get excited. We, we want to entertain them. So wamekuja kutembea kwetu. They didn't even tell us they were coming. 
Rafiki tu amekupigia eh ndugu e, ulisema hapa hapa ndio kwenu niko hapa kwa hii supermarket imeandikwa hivi and then you tell them nipatie tu dakika ngapi mbili ni kuja nikuonyeshe area eh dakika mbili umechomoka umeenda kuonyeshana nini area wewe umekuwa google map sasa eh wewe ndio unawatembeza unajua hii estate sasa ilianzia huku walianza kujenga pande hii wakasonga na huku na huku na huku sasa hata hapa ndio tunakunywa chai tuingie tukunywe kikombe cha chai you are spending money you had not planned haiko anywhere sasa zingine hata hauna hiyo pesa ukiwa hapo ukikunywa chai ndio unafuliza fuliza ikikataa siku hiyo unaanza kusweat because you could not say no for someone introducing you to their plan au ndio walikuwa na plan wewe hauna plan si ndio wewe tu unafuata plan za zao learn to say no where no is due i'm not saying you say no to everything but where no is due learn to say to say no you can't be a yes person all through is only tips ngapi number 5 Protect your savings. Protect your savings. Iyo pesa ambao umeamua kusave. Ichunge. Like we say the enemy does not like things that lead to prosperity, isn't it? Savings huwa inapigwa vita. Sijui kama umeona mambo hii na mafanikio savings. Sa zile uko na tu pesa mahali. Mkono yako inaweza fikia hapo ndio tusimu twingine tunaanza kukuja you know those phone calls eh hey, huto tusimu tunakuja una process una realize by the way inaweza fikia mkono inaweza fika pale na unavunja hiyo account unachukua nini savings so there are people who try to save every day sometimes in class i ask how many of us try to save mikono zinajaa juu there is a second question i ask how many of us have the money we have been saving mikono zinarudi chini In other words I'm saying choose a place you will save where you will not be tempted to break kabla ufikie ile lengo ambalo ulikuwa ulikuwa nalo So we said you need to know why you are saving Yes So if you know your discipline cannot allow you wewe kulala na pesa kwa nyumba moja You know those people who say mimi na pesa tuwezi lala kwa nyumba moja By the way kila mtu ako na kitu hawezi lala nayo kwa nyumba moja. I don't know what yours is. For some people it is food. Mimi na chakula kwa nyumba moja hatuwezi lala. For other people it is money. Mimi na pesa kwa nyumba moja hatuwezi. So if you are that kind of person when you choose to save basi chagua mahali, weka mahali huko mkono yako hawezi fikia hara. If you choose to save in the bank, choose an account dedicated for savings, an account where they will not give you an ATM card. Kama wewe unajijua ati ukiwa na ATM ukipita town, mashini ikifanya hivi unaona ni kama inaita wewe. You know success in life starts from the point of self-awareness. You must know yourself. You must know your weaknesses, isn't it? Eh unajua mimi eh mimi by the way, mimi nikiwa na Sometimes when I speak to people about gambling, those that are addicted to gambling i want to understand where is your biggest temptation unasikia kama mimi nimetembea na simu nikienda ku watch game nikiwa na simu hapo ndio issue zangu zinaanza then we start looking at practical uh, approaches can you leave the phone at home eh hey, wacha hiyo hamu ikuje lakini simu umewacha wapi nyumbani by the time you go back home game iliisha hizo stories zime zimeanza kupungua So choose an account that does not have an ATM card is not connected to your Mpesa. Unajua kuna watu kweli wana save hata wame automate. Sometimes you can automate. Kama unajua ni vigumu utoe pesa manually uende u save. You can automate. Mshahara ikiingia iende kwa ile account ingine ya ku save. Lakini kuna watu kule pesa inaenda pia wame connect kwa Mpesa. So when I ask how many of us try to save mikono zimejaa lakini kuna mtu ana save imeingia leo lakini huko imeenda pia pa, 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 imekuja kwa mpesa so yes you have saved but you have not saved protect your savings